my hook and my peg leg here and my trusty. Don't, Don't ask. ask. Oh, I should rub it here and when they say swing high and low. Welcome back everyone to Christmas Live. This is a radio show where we've been talking about all the people who were around when Jesus was born. And it's almost Christmas, which means woo -wee, do we have a story for you just as soon as, oh, one second. Hi, what's up? Our phone lines are open, so call in. Uh-huh. Call in now. Okay. Dial faster. Yep, nope, sounds good. All right, talk to you later, bye. No one's calling in. I can't wait, I have so much to do. Oh, you're telling me. You're super busy too? Of course. I had my first Christmas concert tonight, and before that, Eric and from school invited me to a Hawaiian-themed Christmas party, and somehow Liv convinced me to run the Winter 5K today. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done. Ugh, same. I have my musical showing tonight, I have 10 pages of math homework to finish up, and Mom and Dad just asked me to make the snacks for when we go over to Grandma and Grandpa's tomorrow night. Oh, that's tomorrow! That's yeah. right! That's gonna be so fun. Everything's going by in such a blur. So, if we're both busy, and no one's calling in, then... Yeah, maybe we could end the show early, just this once. Yeah. All right, this is Josh and Becca signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone, and tune in next week for another Christmas Live. Bye. Tell me that was your costume jingling all the way. No, I'm pretty sure that's the phone. Looks like we got a call from Lance in Nebraska. Hi, Lance. Hey, Josh and Becca. My friend is having a Christmas party, but my parents say I can't go. And I tried out for a solo in a band, but today I found out that I didn't get it. I'm just not sure what to do. It feels like nothing is going the way that I want it to. Can God even help me? That's really tough, Lance. Thanks for calling in. I do think God can help you. Yeah. I'm not really sure how, though. Yeah, I don't know either. Ugh, it's hard to think clearly with all the stuff I have to do. Yeah, I really should be practicing. <sighs> Nothing is going my way. Yeah, that's, that's a good sound. Uh, we have another call from school. Hello, we are calling to inform you that due to heavy snowfall, there will be no school tomorrow, and all events tonight are canceled. Yes, I have another day to do my math homework. Yeah, that's great. But wait, does that mean? Hello? Hello? What? what? No! no! You can't cancel the show tonight just because of a little snow. It's my first concert. Delay the show, but we've been rehearsing for months and I was really excited for tonight. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Show's, Show's canceled? canceled. Yep. Oh, and look, I got some texts too. Eric's canceling his party, and the race is canceled too. Ugh, it's not even snowing that much. See, hardly snowing at all. Well, looks like things aren't going our way now either. Maybe asking what does the Bible say will help. I sure hope so. We'll see you in a second. Okay, Dad. Now we can't even go to Grandma and Grandpa's tomorrow night. Feels like everything is ruined. Tell me about it. Now there's nothing to do. Wait. What if we built a giant hair dryer and we blew the storm away? Um... Quick, you go find something to build a giant tube and I will lift the engine out of Dad's car. That should be powerful enough. As entertaining as that would be, that sounds like way too much work. Plus, I don't think it'd be big enough to blow away an entire blizzard. Yeah, I guess so. At least now we have time to tell the whole Bible story. That's a good point. Lance felt like... Nothing was going the way he wanted it to, and we feel like that too now. I guess it's time to ask, what does the Bible say? Today our story is about two people who faced some tough times. Their names were Mary and Joseph. 
They probably had their own plans for their lives, but one day all of that changed when Mary got a huge surprise. Things I'm looking forward to this year. Oh, getting married to Joseph, obviously. That's so exciting. And living in Galilee where all my family is. Poof. Oh, what's going on? I am an angel. Hello, Mary. Do not be afraid. You are going to have a baby. What? But that's impossible. It is not impossible for God. Name the baby Jesus. He will be called the Son of God. Farewell! That was only the first surprise. When Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby, he didn't know what to think. Dear diary, I don't know what to think. Mary's going to have a baby. She says it's God's plan, but how do I know? Poof! Ah, an angel! I am an angel. Yeah, you said that. I did. Well, I have come to tell you that Mary is telling the truth. She will have a baby boy, and he will be known as Emmanuel, or God with us. Whoa. The surprises didn't stop there. <clears throat> um, a message from the Emperor. Time to tax everyone So you all go back to where you're from I don't care if it's far Just remember that I am Caesar And you're not, not at all it's my money and I've come to call And if you don't want to share I will send a legion of centurions To remind you that I care Da 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 Joseph and Mary had to leave their home and travel to a town called Bethlehem. When they showed up, there were already a ton of people there. In fact, there were so many people that there was no room for them to stay anywhere inside. So they had to stay in a place where animals were kept. <laughs> Ew. That wasn't the last surprise, though. While they were there, Jesus was born. About two years later, though, they're still living in Bethlehem, when an angel appeared again with bad news. Poof! I am an angel. You must run. Run fast! The local king, Herod, has heard about Jesus and is jealous of him. He's sending soldiers to take him from you right now. Go! Mary and Joseph had to run away, all the way to the country of Egypt. It was months, or maybe years, before they got to return to their home. That was a lot of unexpected things. I wonder how they got through all that. I don't know. I'm just glad we get to stay home during this blizzard, instead of being chased off to some far-off country like Oregon or something. <laughs> we'll have to think more on this, but stay tuned for some more Christmas Live. Welcome back to Christmas Live. Mary and Joseph went through a lot. They had a baby they didn't expect, they had to move to a new town, and they were chased by a mad king to an entirely new country. And God led them through all those things, no matter how crazy their lives got. But it sure looks like they kept trusting God. I mean, they never gave up, and they kept listening to God when he told them to do things, and they traded their plans for God's plans. That's interesting. That reminds me of a Bible verse. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. Mm, peace. That sounds great. I haven't felt very peaceful lately. I think I know why that is. And I think I know how some good can come from this blizzard. No. Oh. Okay, I need you to make as much noise as possible. Okay, I can do that. I'm great at making noise. <laughs> While you do that, I'm going to read, okay? All right. Ready? Yep. 
That's because there is no gesture that I could say. Okay. 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 Did you hear what I was reading? No, not at all. There's too much stuff going on. Okay. I'm going to read it again, only this time without all the noise. Okay. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. That's because there was no guest room where they could stay. That's way more peaceful. Maybe that's what God wants us to know. Sometimes it's important to slow down, get rid of the noise, and talk to God. And listen to God, just like Mary and Joseph did. Yeah. Even when things aren't going the way we want them to, we can still have peace, like Mary and Joseph. Ooh, I've got another way to say that. God can give me peace when life doesn't go the way I want it to. God can tell us stuff through the Bible, through our church, and it's important that we listen to him, even if he's telling us to do something difficult. So does that mean we shouldn't ever be busy or stressed? I think everyone feels stressed at times, but like Mary and Joseph, we can choose to trust God, even when life gets tough. That sounds great. I'm kind of ready for a peaceful night at home. I wonder if mom and dad would be up for some board games. Ooh, I definitely am. But first, we have a game to play along with all of you. Stay tuned to find out what it is. Welcome back to Christmas Live. It's time for Random Stress Test Christmas Edition. A normal stress test means putting a ton of weight on something to see how much it can hold. But this stress test is going to be random, which means we're going to see how many of one thing another thing can hold. Whoever guesses the closest to being correct gets a point. Let's get stressed. For this first test, we're going to see how many candy canes this feather can hold. Are you ready? I am so ready. Wait, we have to guess. Oh, yes, um, four. Hmm, I'm gonna say six. I believe in it. All right. I'm gonna hold it nice and steady. One. Oh, I feel the pressure already. Two. Two. Three. Three. Five. Five. Wow, it's stronger than I thought it would be. Six. Six. Should I put it like it's on the, on the canes over oh, here? Oh sure. Seven. It's just not long enough. Seven. Well, that one's on my finger. I think that's seven. It can hold six, but not seven. Definitely not that many. No. All right. Next, we're gonna see how many packages wrapping paper can hold. Okay. I'm gonna just hold it out like this. Guesses. Oh, uh, guesses. I'm gonna say five. I'm gonna say seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. Should we, let's start with a good medium size. Okay. Would you say this is a medium? Medium. Yeah. And one, oh, I'll be gentler. Two, Ooh. package. Ooh, I feel the stress. Oh boy. Now a small one? Yeah, maybe put it over here. For package? Not on top of it. Put, right, right, yep. <laughs> Five, package, in front. Uh-huh. You got it? Yep. Okay. Six package. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Eight package. Oh boy. Nine. Ten. <gasps> Eleven. Oh my goodness. Hold still. Twelve. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. oh. Twelve. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve days of Christmas. 12 packages of wrapping paper. Next up, we will see how many snowflakes a candy cane can hold. Oh, this one's broken. These are glittery. That's broken too. It's real snow, I think. These are good. Wait, guesses. Oh, guesses. Four. Three. Here we go. All right. Two. Two. Oh, this candy cane was broken too. Oh, it's breaking. 
Three. I really hope we make it too far. Four. Oh, look there, it's snapping. It's second break, quick, get another. Five. Six. Six. Oh, this, is this is a pretty strong candy cane. We should show them the back of this candy cane. Seven. Oh yeah, Seven. give it a twirl. Can you see this cane? Oh! 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 <laughs> Okay, seven. seven. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna see how many scoops of frosting a piece of gingerbread can hold. All right. You like that? We didn't guess. Oh, we didn't guess. Quick. I guess 12 scoops of frosting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess a can and a half. A can and a half, <laughs> all right. I don't know how many scoops that is. This is three scoops. Three scoops. Our family loves making gingerbread houses. Mm -hmm. Well, this is more like a gingerbread cloud. This is like your style gingerbread yeah. house. Yeah. Eight scoops. Is that a whole can? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> this is how much frosting is in there. There is so much frosting in a can, who knew? 10 scoops. It's sliding onto my thumb. 11 scoops. Okay. Quickly. Oh, that's a good scoop. Oh, oh! Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. That's so much money. That's a big scoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do I do? Get back on there! <laughs> it's going on my hand, it's going between my fingers. Okay, this that's 13. It's this would falling. make it it's a can falling. and a half. 14 is a can and a half. Okay. It's like sculpting! Whoa! Stay, Clay! Stay. You can do Stay. it! <laughs> okay. <sighs> and that's a wrap. Oh, that's two cans. <laughs> <laughs> so, conclusion, gingerbread passes the stress test. <laughs> that was a fun stress test. I think what we learned is that we should all be more like gingerbread. And when we get stressed, we shouldn't break. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also ready to look for more ways to be peaceful, even when things get back to being busy. Me too. Even if we just take five minutes with God or take time to memorize one verse, spending time with God can really bring us peace even when things are not going the way we want. Josh, where'd you go? Let's get ready for game night. Ooh, charades, you and me versus mom and dad. Oh, yes. All right, we'll see you next week for a special finale of Christmas Live. I need my PJs. <laughs>